Hey guys, good old buddy, it's Mr. Samacam here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Binny reaction. We are back with the girls once again, and today we are back with some more dance practices from the girls. We know how brilliant these girls are when it comes to their choreographies. So I thought I'd check out a load of dance practices that I've not yet checked out from the girls because they've got a lot of them, to be honest. Today we've got a dance practice for Born to Win, Kapit Lang, No Fear, and I Feel Good. Should be a very fun watch, and yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Right then guys, let's jump right into these dance practices and what better a dance practice to check out first than Born to Win, which is obviously Vinny's debut. Let's do it. This was like three years ago, I think, this dance practice. Yeah, I felt it and I've been there through different faces. I've been feeling like I don't have the power in me. As soon as Benny start dancing, I'm just, I really am blown away by their synchronicity of it all. They are so in time and their choreographies are so complex. There's so many little bits to it. I, I want to say their dancing and their choreography is one of the things that impresses me most about this group. Go on, Aya. Oh, little Mexican wave. So let me hear it. I'm on it now. So sick. Just so fast paced. There's so many hand movements. The fact they're all able to stay exactly in time is amazing. And the energy with eight members, like it really brings a song to life because there's so much to look at. Oh, that's sick. The way they all went down one at a time. Listen up. Do this, do that. Just time with the oh. Sometimes it's harder than all you need is some time It'll take you a few dead ends How do they remember every single movement? There's so many little parts To finally understand God to push harder The failures only make you strong it's one of those you need to watch it again and again and even you need to watch it in slow motion to spot everything going on like look at these hand movements the failures only make you strong i used to be so the amount of practice that this must take but now i'm more than fearless, fearless. oh yeah oh i love the little mexican waves they keep doing let me hear it. I'm on it now. Every step we take, I'm doing we break. There's nothing we can do. There's some great energy during the hook as well. By the way, loving the Beatles shirt. That's a Sergeant Pepper t shirt, I think. Oh. Oh, and especially when they go up with their arms like that. Like, they are. There's not one person who's lagging behind. It's just. Straight up, all in time. Now I have found my confidence, confidence. There's only one me. Yeah. We were born to live, born to make mistakes. Every bungee we break, every step we take. Together hey. we can go facing anything. Now every step we take, bungee we break. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> This is one of the reasons I want to see these girls live. I just want to, I want to see them dancing. I'm assuming they sing at the same time during their live shows as well, which is, I mean, that's even more ridiculous. Oh my God. That might be, I know I checked out quite a few of these dance practices the other week. By the way, if you haven't seen my first video, definitely go and check that out. This one, this might be the most complex one I've seen yet. The amount of little movements, the amount of switching around they do, it is, 
I don't even want to know how much practice that takes. They're probably just in the dance studio for like eight hours a day or something ridiculous. And that's the hard work that you don't get to see when you're watching one of these. You don't realize a lot of the time the amount of work that went into that, but there must have been a lot. Right, Kapit Lang is up next. This already looks interesting. Oh my God, oh my God. It's, it's a level above. They really are just a level above. It's like we got two groups of the girls and they're each like interacting with each other. It's like a, it's almost like a dance battle, this little bit between the girls. Like, right, you move, we'll reply, and then they get a reply back. Oh, those, oh. Oh, this is so cool. The way they've just lined up in pairs, it almost looks like they're aliens or something, like four arms. It's beautiful to watch. It's beautiful to watch. Love it. Woo! Oh! It's looser, but at the same time, for certain beats, they just fall straight back into the, the really in sync rhythm, you know? Again, I bloody love Aya's rap during that. And apparently, she wrote it herself as well. Oh! Oh my lord! I I love that there's eight members as well. It's it's almost like the perfect amount of members. And you have like the pairs as well. You can do the pairs with an odd number of members. You can't do that. But also, there's just quite a few of them, which means the energy when you're doing a group choreo like this is just even bigger. But I guess it also means it's hard to synchronize everyone because there's eight of them. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna get over these girls dancing and how in time they are and the complexity of their choreos. How much practice do they have? If you guys know, if you guys have seen any like behind the scenes of them like practicing their dancing, please do let me know how much practice goes into these because I, I can't even imagine. I really can't imagine how many times you have to run through that to get it that precise and on time. It must be a lot. Right, No Fear is up next. Let's do it. Again, the hand movements, it's like their trademark, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I knew this one would be packed full of energy, just like the song is. But I love there's something about that movement with the with the knees going in. I'm not I'm not a choreographer. I don't know the terms, but you know the one I mean. <laughs> Oh, they're boogieing! Woo! Oh, you can hear the stamps as well, I like it. There it is again! Oh, ha ha ha! That's so sick! I love it when they do that, when, when they all line up and then it looks like their bodies are just coming out of each other. Woo! It's a feel-good choreo as well. Feel-good choreo for a feel-good song, quite literally. Oh my god! I feel like I'm seeing. Uh, I was about to say seeing seeing double, but I'm seeing oh, what was it? I don't even know what the name is for eight. But I feel like I'm just seeing eight of the same thing on my screen. I may as well be. Ooh. Oh yeah. They're paired up again. I love it when they do this. I don't know where to look. Like, you could look over there, over there. Everyone's doing something different. Oh, okay. Okay then. <laughs> Did you hear that woo that they let out? Woo! God, how can you not be in a good mood watching this? This song with this choreo. I like when they just go kind of laid back as well. There's there's certain relaxed parts of the choreo where they're just freestyling. They just got to get their arms around each other. Like this bit, I like that because it doesn't all have to be you know completely drilled. Oh yeah. Oh. Something about that that hand movement where they're going side to side is trippy to look at because they're all just you just see so many arms. Ah, oh my god, dude, those legs! <laughs> and then we're going all out for the last hook, extra energy. Woo! Oh. That was the most fun choreo I think I've seen for the girls so far. And it makes sense because it's just a straight up dance banger. And they embodied that kind of vibe so perfectly then. Wow, you can't, it's one of, it's one of those, you, you cannot not smile, you know. You cannot not smile. Yeah, you can't not smile watching that. It's impossible. Right, here we go. I feel good is up next. I feel like I'm not going to be able to not smile for this one either. But here we go. Oh my God. God! I mean, that's a perfect example of what I love about these girls. The hand choreo is just exactly on the clicks. Wow. Wow!
Look, they're in front of one another. She's she's not nowhere near her, but it looks like their hands are touching. That's how that's how imperfectly positioned they are. And there's no marks on the ground either. There's no marks on the ground to tell them where they gotta be. They just know. I love I love the Mexican wave effects as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm beginning to notice with these girls a lot of their choreo is based on their arm movements. Like obviously they move their bodies a hell of a lot as well, but a lot of it is in the arms, which looks really, really cool because you can do so much with your arms and your fingers. Like there's real dexterity, you know? Another half and half. And I bet these three are going to reply. Oh, no, okay. The way she ducked under their arms, though. Whoop. See, the thing is, they're, like, we're not in line with them, so it doesn't have the same effect. But if you're behind her there, I mean, their arms are just going to look like a clock, aren't they? That's so sick, because one of them is doing the second hand, the other one's doing the minute hand. Oh. That little wave. They're hitting every click. Click, click, click. It's smart as well with these where only half the girls are dancing and the other four are just stood still because it gives them a little bit of a rest, you know, and I'm assuming they need a rest after this choreo. It's energetic. Oh, hello. She's like, right, I'll take front and centre, if you don't mind. So cool, man. It's so much fun to watch as well. Oh my god, this is so much fun, man. Perfect for the song. Look where they duck. Oh! They're so good. Ooh, here she comes. Is that Malloy? Oh, Malloy. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm impressed, but I'm I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with how well these dance, these girls dance. They are good at what they do. I think that's an understatement. I have so much fun just watching them, like... Oh, and we're ending it with some more choppy hand choreo. It's really impressive. It really is. And you don't get this good at dancing. 
without striving for perfection. Do you know what I mean? Like they, they must just have this want to get it completely perfect. And they probably don't settle for anything less. I bet if someone, you know, makes a misstep or someone's out of time, you know, they, they go back and they correct that. And then they've just smoothed out all of the imperfections to the point where they're able to perform like this. It is, it is truly incredible. And I love watching them dance. And I haven't really enjoyed watching a group dance as much as this. You never know what's gonna come. Every single dance Dance practice has something different like clever and creative within it i don't know who choreographs their stuff but whoever it is uh also deserves a round of applause i i'm assuming they probably do quite a bit for themselves but i'm sure they also have choreographers behind the scenes working with them big credit to them because uh yeah it's a lot of fun to watch but hopefully you guys did enjoy i think we pretty much checked out all of the dance practices now uh but if there are any more that i have not yet checked out leave them down below guys let me know and as always thank you so much god my voice. Thank you so much for watching. But yeah, there we go, guys. I really hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, a like rated down below would be much appreciated. And again, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, but you have been enjoying these Binny reactions, what the hell are you doing? Make sure you click that button. It's completely free, as I always say, and you will be notified when I upload the next reaction. So it's definitely worth doing it. Hopefully, you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Hopefully, you're staying safe with everything that's going on. We'll catch you very, very soon in the next reaction video. Peace out.